Hi, welcome to Convergent Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I'm taking a look at Transformers Generation Studio Series 86 Slug. Uh, Slug is the seventh figure in the Studio Series line. Um, he is a big old leader, which I kind of wasn't expecting. For some reason in my mind, I thought that like Grimlock would be a leader and the others would be um, Voyagers or something. But he is a big chonkin' Triceratops. And I'll admit, I really like this guy. Slug is awesome. Uh, for some reason, I don't mind his styling as much as I do like Grimlock's T-Rex mode. Um, I think for a Triceratops, the chunkiness just works for me better than than Grimlock's uh, like kind of outdated T-Rex design. Uh, that just bothers me. Um, but yeah, Slug here, he comes with this background and he looks fierce. I love the color use on him. We've got the gold paint. We've got, you know, different shades of gray here, uh, metallic gray plastic, dark metallic plastic or, or paint, light gray here, a different shade of gray here, um, those nice blue eyes. Uh, the robot mode is hidden pretty well underneath. Yeah, he is just big. Uh, to compare him, here he is next to a deluxe, you know, there you go, right next to each other. Uh, here he is next to my current slug. Uh, I've got animated slug over here um, So you can see that you know animated slug is a, a little bitty boy. I actually I think scale wise I like this a little better than that um, But we'll get into like the slug on slug comparisons later uh, Needless to say this is a big boy and I don't have a studio series Grimlock to compare it to because that was the previous giveaway one a while ago um, but yeah, Slug looks fierce. Oh, and I totally forgot because I tend to ignore it. There is another figure that came with this guy. We got ourselves a little Witwicky. There you go. There he is. He's got, you know, no paint on that face because he's got a helmet on. He can move. He can move. His knees don't bend. Um, this is a lot like the, uh, the, uh, what did we get with Grimlock? We got a wheelie. So this, this is a lot like that, which is something that I feel is safe enough for me to just ignore. You can ride on slug like this, um, or you can do what I do and just set this guy aside and totally forget about him. Yeah, slug here, I mean, he looks awesome. My only real complaint about him um, is these horns. The horns look great. I know there's going to be third party or 3D printed filler pieces. I really wish that maybe there was a, a bisection here that they had filled in those horns. Because either side you look at those horns, or even from the front you see the hollowness, which is just really unfortunate. Maybe if they try to hide the hollowness a little better by putting it on the underside or something, but that's just unfortunate. Other than that, I think he's great. He comes with 5mm pegs or ports all over the place, uh, so you can stick all sorts of weapons on top. His weapon storage, his own gun, stores in his tail really nicely. Um, he's got good articulation. This leg goes all the way around. It's got a knee bend and a little ankle bend. Um, we've got big ball joints up on these front shoulders and they ratchet nicely. And then we've got this knee bend right here. Uh, so, you know, if you want to get him like he's charging, there's also bicep swivel that turns into, I guess, thigh swivel for, for dinosaur mode. Um, I think he looks awesome. Uh, overall, just very, very happy with how he turned out. And he's a big chunkin' leader. I mean, look at, like, he doesn't even fit on his own base in dinosaur mode because he's so big. Uh, it just, it looks really fantastic. Um, I think the next thing is just, uh, let's get him transformed. All right, Slug's transformation, like the classic Dinobot, you know, transformation, is pretty simple. We're gonna come in on the back here, pop out that tail, nice and easy come in up top and flip out the sides like so of these panels. Uh, these legs, they're just gonna curl in once and then curl in twice on both sides like so. Uh, this uh, back section is pegged into the sides of his butt that we can just separate out. There are uh, tabs here that are in these slots here. Once those are out, then we can separate out and lift up and we can see uh, his whole robot leg just comes down and listen to that lovely ratchet there. Ooh, that feels good. To finish out his legs, we're gonna flip up tabs on each side here. We're gonna rotate the uh, Triceratops leg so that this uh, joint is facing 
uh, outward. Actually, I think it stays this way because we'll flip it. There we go. Uh, and then that joint stays up and back and out of the way. Same thing on this side. Make sure everything's fully collapsed and then flip it and it'll lock in place nicely. These pieces come back up and we've got solid robot legs. We can rotate the waist here like so. We can come in up top and we're gonna need to bring our camera up just a little bit, aren't we? Cause he is a big chunkosaurus. Uh, we're coming in up top. We're gonna open up our chest cavity, which lets us separate out. Uh, ooh, I totally forgot about his little crest. We're gonna pull these tabs so we don't actually break anything. And that'll let us separate out the sides of his uh, chest, uh, expanding out on those double joints on each side like so. Uh, with that out of the way, keep him out of the way, we can open up his Triceratops mouth, uh, which yeah, it does open, I guess I, I forgot to mention that. Uh, pulling that down and pulling our head up, closing things around the uh, bottom jaw, like so, uh, then bringing this back up to finish out his chest and it will collapse. Maybe bring that up just a little more. Collapse nicely around his, there we go, around his, uh, I don't know what you call that, the bottom section of his neck mount. Flipping these crest pieces up, we can flip out the hands. I actually struggle with this. I use the gun handle to flip and rotate this bad boy out. Same thing on this side. Like so. Then to finish things off, just on the back here, we're going to, this uh, crest has these two tabs right back here. We're going to bring this section of his back with those two ports up, collapsing things together. That part tabbed in correctly. Oh no, I was right back here. This all just collapses, the whole assembly collapses and we get a nice, you know, pretty hidden away backpack on slug here, which I appreciate. And yeah, look at this big chunkin' Tricera robot. Like, I mean, this does capture that Dinobot imagination of these big boys. Um, I will say there are things about the proportions I don't 100% love in robot mode, which we'll get to. All right, it's time to draw our winner for the Transformers Generations Studio Series 86 Rekgar giveaway. Again, Per the normal rules, here are all the people that left comments on the video. If you left a comment saying you wanted to enter the giveaway and you answered the question of the day, you got a little heart. That's how I kept track of everyone who did want to enter. And I believe we had a total of 31 entries. Yep, Jim Hayes was the last one. Uh, 31 entries. So we're going to go over here, uh, random between 1 and 31, and let's see who our winner is. Number 13. Uh, 13 is Longing Monkey 23. Long, <laughs> Longing Monkey 23. Uh, congratulations, Longing Monkey. Um, and I guess a real quick update. Um, I know there's a video, uh, a giveaway at the end of this video. Um, I am going to be out of town this weekend, so I'm going to be uploading the video a little earlier. So instead of uh, entries being in by Friday the 28th, Entries will need to be in by Friday the 27th, and then I'll draw the winner. The video will still come out on the 29th. Just wanted to make sure I made that clear. Before we talk all the aesthetics, let's just get into his articulation. Uh, so the head is hidden away by the Triceratops mouth, but it is on a very nice ball joint. It moves really kind of wherever you need things to go. Good waggle in there. Um, the shoulders, they do 360. These wing flaps aren't really in the way. Uh, they go out plenty far. Uh, there is a bicep swivel, which we saw in Triceratops mode. There is wrist swivel here um, and a nice deep elbow bend. The waist moves just fine wherever you want it to go. The hips are interesting. They, they go out fine like so. He can Van Damme. But if you notice, uh, they're not the most solid in rotating and holding a position forward and back. Um, this swivel here is loose. Uh, it might be a little hard to make out, but... Eh, there's like jiggle there, but the actual detent tends to hold its place, but it is something to be aware of. 
He can go back and his backpack doesn't really get in his way. Um, like I said, there is a swivel in the thigh. He's got nice deep uh, past 90 degree knee bend, which is lovely. Um, and he does have his ankle joints uh, like all modern generation figures do, which I appreciate. Um, and yeah, like I think that overall, I think he looks pretty great. His arms, like for a Dinobot, they feel a little undersized to me. I don't know, it, that may not, like, that may be accurate to his, uh, his, um, design from G1, but I think, I think what it is, is that, uh, animated slug with his big beefy arms proportional to his body, I mean, he was small, um, but he had, like, these, like, interesting proportions where he's got these really broad shoulders and big chunky arms, um, this is what, like, I think of when I think of slug. This seems a little too slender. The arms, I wish the shoulders were out. Maybe another quarter inch, uh, in diameter, just bigger and with bigger arms. Um, but, like, I mean, look at them next to each other. Like, obviously this is a leader class figure and it's massive and it looks awesome. I really like the color work again. We've got that classic Dinobot blue eyes. It all looks really, really nice. Um, we've got Daniel here. He's got a port on his butt to sit comfortably on these, uh, or a tab that goes into these shoulders on either side here. If we can get him in there, there we go. So we can't have him just rocking on Slug's shoulders. And yeah, overall, like, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I think I said the same thing in the Grimlock review. This is a very good toy of a design that I don't have a lot of nostalgia for. Um, I think that, you know, he can do a lot with his, his gun, um, I kind of wish he came with some sort of melee weapon because I wish all the Dinobots, like, I, I really just, I realize I want, like, a bigger, better version of this guy. I want Slug with a club, with these proportions, um, but, like, this version of Slug here is still a really great toy, and I think for the leader price point, it, it just feels really good and chunky and satisfying. He just isn't what I want, and that is why this video is going to be a giveaway. So, um, like I said before... Uh, in my videos, when I do a giveaway, there's a question of the day. Today's question of the day is, um, here's one. If Transformers, if Studio Series made a Paddles figure, and they won't because Paddles isn't in any animated media, but if they made a Paddles toy, uh, would you buy it? Would you spend the leader price money to get a Transformers Paddles toy? Uh, that's my question of the day. Just let me know. And if you answer it uh, one week from today, I'll round up all the answers and I will draw a winner from those to win this slug and get them shipped out to you. Uh, that's it. Hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.